Hello and welcome to Verbling. Hi, I am Teacher Oakley and in this class we are going to do a little problem solving. Come on in and join the class and uh, you will be joining the board of directors. You'll be joining the management team of a uh, hotel and resort. We're going to look at a little of uh, the common ways, uh, common expressions or sentences that we use to talk about, uh, that we use when we talk about problems in a business or company. As well, uh, we're going to be practicing those phrases because here's the situation. We are all the management team of a resort hotel and uh, although we have a nice location and beautiful place the reality is that we have many many problems that we have to deal with so uh, come on in and join the class and uh, you can help together we will work as a team to figure out possible solutions to our problem and of course we'll uh, be doing a little bit of debate. We may disagree, that's okay. And maybe we'll uh, come up with some different ideas, what we can do. And hopefully we'll be able to figure out our problems together. So uh, kind of business related, a little bit of uh, discussion and debate related. Uh, lots of different English skills we'll be using in this class. Should be fun. Come on in and join my management team. I get to be CEO, by the way. <laughs> of course. Uh, join the team and, uh, and we'll get started fixing our problems. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Mahmood, how are you? Hi, Tetchan. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, I'm doing well. Uh, thanks for joining the team. What? What? Okay, you are now part of the team, management team, for a hotel and resort. Who do you want to be? <laughs> do you want to be in charge of the maintenance, in charge of housekeeping, in charge of the restaurant and bar? <laughs> I would uh, be in charge of our uh, maintenance. Maintenance, okay. <laughs> Very good. Good enough. Okay. Bimal, welcome to the team. Hello, Bimal. Bimal, are you there? Bimal, hello? Do you have a microphone, Bimal? I see you have some serious headphones there. Do you have a microphone so that you can speak in our meeting? Bamal, I hope you try to get a microphone so you can participate. Hey, Igor. How are you? Hello. Hello, Oakley. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, pretty nice weekend. How, how's your weekend going? It's very well, going very well. <laughs> thank you for asking. Okay. Glad to hear it. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Uh, glad you joined the team. <laughs> Going to look for your input later. Okay. All right. I am administrator. <laughs> Do you know who is administrator? <laughs> uh, you, uh, sure. Uh, like financial administrator? No, but uh, where? Where? Team where? Okay. Wait. No, 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 no. We're, we're doing a hypothetical situation today. And the hypothetical situation is that we are here, our Verbling class, is the management team of a resort hotel. And uh, we're going to imagine that we've maybe we've just come together as a group. This is a new hotel, but we're beset with problems. We have many, many problems, which I'll present one at a time. And then we're going to discuss how we're going to figure out uh, these okay. problems and what our solutions are going to be. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Key, Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Uh, 
Sarah, hi. Should I call you Sarah? Is that correct? Should I call you Sarah? Would you like me to call you Sarah? I don't understand. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sarah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was the question. Okay. When an uh, English speaking person says, what should I call you? Or how shall I address you? All I'm asking is, what is the name you want me to say when I'm talking to you? That's that's all. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, all right. We're all here to learn things. Hi, Mon. Hi, Mon. How are you there? How are you today? <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Thanks a lot. Uh, you ready to join the team and uh, make some business decisions? Yes. <laughs> Good, super. Uh, okay, who else do we have here? Chen Yanat. Chen Yanat? Yeah. Yeah, wow. You can call me Sar. That is my nickname. Sar? Yes. Oh, okay. Why Sar? <laughs> um, I don't know. My friends call me Sar, and my mom gave this name to me. It's a. Okay. Uh, Musical instrument in Thailand, but I cannot play it. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. Okay, that's very that's cool. Thanks for sharing. All right, Sar, and you're from. This is my first time. <laughs> okay, well, uh, welcome to Verbling and welcome to the class. We're happy yeah, to. Thank you. Thank you. We're happy to have you, and, and you're from Thailand, then. Yes, I'm from Thailand. I'm a wonderful. student. Okay, you're a student from Thailand. Well, wonderful. Well, okay. You're, today you're going to be uh, working as part of a company. You're going to be with, with us, making some business decisions. W what are you studying in school, Sar? I'm studying Faculty of Education, Mathematics. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. All right. You can be our treasurer. <laughs> okay. Very good. Oh, Andrew's here. Hey, Andrew. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. All hello, right. hello, hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello, 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 hello. Uh, hi, Bimal. Uh -huh. You're got your microphone working, huh? Terrific. All right. Very good. All right, Bimal. <laughs> yeah. Hang in there. Okay, to all you guys in the class, it appears that uh, Verbling chat is not working, so please use the um, Google chat box. Uh, it's on the right on the toolbar. There's a blue square. Just click on that, and you can um, type in any chat messages that you would like to. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Terrific. Thank you. All right, so uh, we're going to do a little work with uh, problem solving and solutions. Okay, uh, just real, real quickly before we jump right in, some of the uh, some of the possible, you know, phrases that we use when we're coming up with ideas. You know, think we might say things like one idea might be to. We tend to use modals a lot. Modals might could, should, I think we should, I think we might want to do this. I think uh, a possible solution might be that, well, we could do this, we could do that. Maybe you have a couple ideas. Um, possibly we could do this, or we might want to try this. Okay, we, we'll use a lot of modals, might, could, would. Um, when we agree, if you agree with something somebody else here has to say, we often say, okay, uh, I agree with Andrew. I think Andrew has a good idea. Um, if you disagree, we might use language like, uh, we might, if we're going to be polite, I might say, well, I think, uh, I think Igor has a good idea, but on the other hand, perhaps we should think about, often we'll say, well, that's a good idea idea but all right when we're trying to be polite and uh, careful about what we say or a, a little bit diplomatic 
Okay. But if impolite, we can say, I totally disagree with you. <laughs> impolite, or or if you really have strong feelings, I mean that's okay. I, I'm sorry, I have to totally disagree. Actually, we might even use an apologetic term, like I'm sorry, but I totally disagree with what you're saying. And and that's okay. That's acceptable in English speaking in a, in a business meeting, which is what we're doing today. We're gonna have a we're playing out a hypothetical business meeting. Okay, um, and and hang on. Here is our here is our situation. All right, we are the management staff. All of us are the management staff of a large res resort hotel, and uh, we've we oh boy, we've got some serious problems, and we have to discuss these problems. These problems, and we've got to come up with some solutions, people. Or, or, or we're just dead. I'm telling you, this is serious. Okay, here's the deal, all right? Our hotel is on an island. It's surrounded by beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and there's mountains in the background. Nearby, there are mountains. Very scenic and beautiful area. It seems like a really perfect place. But, and I'm here sorry. we Yes. Questions Can you before draft, we begin. Uh, scenic. Right, scenic. Yes. Yes, I sure can. Scenic. Uh, scenic means the views are very beautiful. Okay. A scenic area. Oh, mountains or coastline. Scenic. All right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'll share with you. I'm going to do a quick. Screen share, I'll have somebody read this, all right? Our pro first problem we have to deal with is dun, 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 theft. Uh, okay, Mahmood, can you, can you read this for the class? Okay. You, please, all right, thank you. There is a lot of theft at the, at the hotel. Someone is stealing food from the kitchen, money from front desk, and sports equipment from the gym. Guests have also complained that somebody stole their wallets. Very good. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. All right. So theft. We've got theft from uh, all over the place. My goodness. We've got theft from guests. Guests. We've got thefts. Thieving going on in the in the gymnasium, sports equipment, front desk, the kitchen. Oh my goodness, theft is rampant. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, so what are we going to do about it, uh, Andrew? I'm going to start with you. Theft is rampant, Andrew. What do you what do you think? What could we do? Do you have any possible solutions? First of all, we have to we have to talk with the personals and uh, ask them. Perhaps somebody could see something. Yeah. We I have mean, to we have to talk to who the personnel. Yeah, with the staff. Okay. Perhaps some of them could see this. The scene. Okay, personnel or staff, right? Okay, just introducing the vocabulary. Those are the people that work at the hotel. They are the personnel or our staff. Uh, so, are you suggesting we have a meeting with the staff? Yeah, it, it would be better to make a meeting with the staff, with the staff, and ask them questions. Okay, ask them questions about the thieving. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Sar. Yes. What do you think? Do you have any ideas how we can stop all this? Thieving at our, our hotel, all I this think, feeling. Uh huh. I think maybe the staff is not enough to take care of guests. Maybe we can set up the video camera system. Yeah. Mm. To take care, we can see people walk around in 24 hours all day, all night. That is, I think, is better. Okay, installing a, uh, 
I think they closed. They call that CCTV, right? I think yeah, it's uh, yeah. closed circuit television. Big Den Camera. Yeah, right, right. See, I think it's called CCTV, which, by the way, is also a Chinese broadcasting system. <laughs> by coincidence. Uh, okay, that's that's a really good idea, uh, Igor. What do you think of the I idea? Think, yeah, I think a um, uh, good solution would be if we will uh, find a third. Um, how to say third company that company that not associated with us how to say mm. third company yeah okay um do you know this uh, yeah yeah uh, hang on my brain isn't uh, you, we hire uh, an outside so, company outside company it's the meaning uh -huh. that outside company that do not have relation with us any relation or with uh, someone with uh, from our management or our staff so that company will provide us uh, a security uh, service which is uh, um, include video uh, surveillance and uh, uh, people who will um, check uh, personal at exits uh, at uh, when personal uh, how to say uh, go in hotel yeah. Say? Okay. Um, the, we Personal. can say the traffic. Uh, they uh, well, as Mon said, a guard on the door uh, or yes, p persons that check uh, in the pockets in all kind. Uh, they check uh, people. So uh, they uh, this person to be from that uh, third uh, company and uh, that. A company uh, to be uh, with good reputa reputation on the market with of um, um, security system. So we ha have to um, sign with them a contract, and they will provide us a security, and we will we will know we would we will not have problem with. Uh, Theft and another problems because they will be responsible for this uh, area. This okay. is the most better idea. Okay, and I remembered the term, uh, Igor. We need to hire an independent contractor or subcontractor. Yes, independent contractor, yeah. uh, independent company that's not associated with us, with any of right. our our personal. And as you mentioned, we should look for one with a very solid, very good reputation in the yes. business. Uh, I think uh, the um, best idea to find three companies so they to uh -huh. offer us uh, what they can uh -huh. offer, and we will choose from these three. three. Or we can hire two companies uh, uh, that hotel, so they will compete with each other, and they will uh, one company will provide uh, one kind of service, another. Our kind outside uh, uh, monitoring, another inside monitoring, so they will, uh, how to say, uh, ensure each other. Mm, okay, and not to mention they will also compete with each other. Yes. Which may drive down costs, hopefully. Yes. Right? I got gotcha. you. I like it. Oh, you're a businessman. All right, Mon, uh, I, I know that you already, i watching what you're typing in the chat. Uh, obviously, you were already were thinking about guards and, uh, and like that. Uh, do you have anything to add? What do you think of Igor's idea? <coughs> uh, I think it's a good idea. Uh, uh, maybe you just need to put uh, like a motion detector. Oops. Like you know. Mon, I think you're kind of getting. I don't know your connection or something. You're you're sticky. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe you need to put uh, motion detector. Motion detectors. Ah. Where where do you oh okay like where could we put motion detectors? Let's see. We got uh, problems in the gym, problems in the kitchen, um, guests, and the front desk. Where would we put motion detectors? Well, obviously, they would have to be where people aren't normally in motion. <laughs> mm. 
Maybe in gym and kitchen. Maybe in the gym and the kitchen during the off hours, right? Okay, yes. off hours. Off hours are times when no one uh, is working in the office or that particular workspace. Say Maybe in the on hours, uh, all will be moving and <laughs> uh, <laughs> these uh, detectors will uh, show us that it's the moving in the <laughs> make sure that they're moving. Make sure the employees are moving. <laughs> Good one. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I know. I know. It was funny. I get it. Um, okay. That's an additional idea that may have merit. It may be good. All right, Mahmoud. We've got a lot of ideas here. What do you think? Do you have any new ideas, or what do you think are the best ideas? I agree with all ideas. It is very best ideas. Besides, uh, it is not easy for everyone to enter hotel and uh, make and uh, stall uh, from uh, customers in the hotel. So you need first to check out from where the shift come. It may be come from your staff. It may be come from your employees. So you need to check the statue of every employee and working with you. Check the what? The, the stat status 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 for mm -hmm. status yeah. okay status, yeah. hmm all right um check the honest sorry discover honesty people and dishonesty people the honest and dishonest people okay which is awfully hard to do actually detector uh, of lie oh lie detector yes lie detector ooh <laughs> Yeah. Like okay. Well, that's another like idea. And judge, judge. Yeah. Well. Okay. That's another idea. Make the whole. No, I just kidding. Just make, kidding. With make the whole tricks. staff take a lie detector test. Uh, yeah, that would be expensive, actually. Expensive and inutile because uh, maybe a good idea to fire all staff and hire another new staff. Right. And then uh, the fact is that. W Actually, hotels and restaurants are notorious for having high change in employees or turnover. Um, many people coming and going on the staff, so that would be hard to do all the time. That, that's like a one-time solution, but we need a solution that would go carry on for a long time. What do you think? Actually, you know, uh, the first idea we heard, Andrew's idea, have a meeting with the staff. Um, although, you know, you know, that may seem simple. It's it's actually probably a good idea to make it absolutely clear what the policies are. Or, you know, if we're going to do things like hire guards or have closed circuit TV, you have to explain that to the staff anyway, right? Would you all agree with that? I mean, that makes sense, right? That makes sense. Okay. All right. Um,. Okay, so, well, that was actually, would any, okay, myself, I liked Igor's idea to have, at least have three different companies bid for the job, security companies, and I also like uh, SAR's idea with a closed circuit TV, which of course would be part of their job to monitor, those two go together, uh, as well as checking people entering the comp, entering the grounds, which is, all of those things, Pretty much everything goes together that we said. So I don't know that there's a lot to actually disagree about. <laughs> All of our ideas kind of fit together. Yeah. Is, is there anything that anyone would like to add or that everything fit? There's no real disagreement or opposing ideas. Does anybody see any problems? No. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Good. We solved that one. We're geniuses. All right. The next problem. Okay, hang on. I'm going to screen share. I'm going to have uh, Andrew read this. Andrew, the guests are bored. Hang on. You may, you may already have the document, in which case, go ahead and read it. But here you go. Guests are bored. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, guests are bored. Guests have complained that there is nothing to do. There are no, there are no uh, activities at night. In 
Today there are a few spots and nothing to see. Okay. Who's in charge of entertainment here anyway? <laughs> Who's our entertainment administrator? Sorry, I think it's you. Oh, oh no, you're our treasurer. Okay. Uh, so what are we going to do about board? I think maybe the yeah. music can make the guests be happy. Maybe we set the cloud gate set in each room, maybe sing a song together, dance together, and drink together. Maybe make some games like each room have number, right? Number of each room. Maybe like the lottery, which room is win, then get money, something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sar thinks singing, dancing, drinking, and gambling. <laughs> <laughs> well, they then invite, invite then, everyone to come together, happy together. <laughs> well, then they could go to Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, okay, th those are actually all valid ideas, but uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll, I'll let you guys talk about it. The hangout keeps sticking. I don't know, Igor. What do you think? How are we going to keep our guests entertained? I think we should fire um, um, the um, person who is responsible for this at this moment. I don't and think we, we have anybody. <laughs> okay, we should hire uh, a person. And mm -hmm. how to say entertainer management? Uh, how is uh, position sound? Uh, yeah, um, entertainment management. Sure. Uh, manager or I don't know who is responsible. Uh, I think they uh, they might call that. Director, uh, that might fall under the ballywick of um, uh, director of cust uh, guest services. I yeah, think, yeah. maybe. Okay, uh, director who is responsible for entertaining. I would say. Yeah. So yeah. we should find uh, a professional. Obviously, we should put advertisements. Uh, I don't know on uh, all media. So we would find a professional and we would give him a one month so he would do his job and we would check uh, after that we would do a survey or something like that and we would check the um, uh, what say guests uh, what's what say guest at that moment in okay. the future so after one month okay we will see what the guests say at that time Yes, what the guests say at that time, uh, he, he, uh, the uh, opinion of the, them. But uh, in this time, we would check this uh, manager, of course, um, mo one month, we would check uh, every day what he do to change the situation. So I think he should uh, uh, put some activities and no music, uh, disco, uh, Okay. But uh, cafe and something like that, so we should uh, see a result. But if he is a professional, I think uh, we do not need to. Um, okay. Do you think this person should be part of our management team? That say we are the management team. Should they be joining us, for example, in weekly meetings? Yes, of course. Uh, okay. He should report, uh, I think, every day, maybe not every day, maybe once a week uh, to the CEO or who is uh, on the top. So yeah. to report what he do every every day, what uh, the results of okay. his work. So what, what? Uh, monitor. Okay, what either either what he is doing, what he is in the process of doing, or what he has yes. done. Yes. Um, it, what he's already finished, what he has done. Because okay. we, not, we, not, you can't say what he do, what he has done or what he is doing. He has. Yes, done. what he's done or what he's doing at the moment. Mm. Because we yeah. would hire a professional, so we trust him. But we should check, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, hire someone to management, and, and then maybe they could implement uh, the ideas that Sar had. Uh, Mon, do you have any ideas how to keep the guests entertained? Uh, uh, how to keep them entertained? Uh, yeah. Or give them something. Um, 
or what they call a mystery, or like you know you make a story, not mm. true story. You just say like someone has been killed in the kitchen. Okay. All right. And they will think uh, like you know <laughs> I don't know like investigation or something. You've heard, okay. These. Yeah, I've heard of this before. They they have these special murder mystery weekends and you go to a you go to a a bed and breakfast or a small hotel and they pretend there's a murder and then people have to spend the weekend trying to figure it out. You've heard of that before? Ma'an? No. No? You just made it up? <laughs> okay. Yes. No, that's a real idea. They really do that. I don't know. In the United States, they do that. That's an actual thing. Uh, if you, Okay, you just made that up. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. That, that's really something that they do. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, maybe they let them go to some place where... Uh, where a ghost, there are lots of ghosts. <laughs> okay, very creative answers. <laughs> okay, or we could create a lot of ghosts. Hmm. <laughs> Mahmoud, what what do you think? Or what do you think? Of, what do you think of the others' ideas? Or do you have any new ideas? I agree with Igor. Okay. It is very good idea to get someone who is responsible for answering, asking customers about what uh, what so will make him uh, happy, what sort of entertaining he needs. Okay. And to try to figure it and uh, make and uh, actually do it. And actually do it. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh. And actually do it, I guess, would be the key. Uh, hi, Robson. How are you? Are you there? Robson just joined the class. Do you have a microphone? Hello? Okay, Robson, try to work out your microphone so that we can talk to you. Uh, Andrew, okay. What do you, what do you think? We've got a couple of creative, specific ideas and a general idea to hire someone in charge of any ideas. Yeah, I agree with Igor's idea, but um, it depends on whether the company can afford to hire a specialist uh, to to survey. Uh, I would uh, I would solve this problem uh, by. I would carry out a survey, and according to the survey, we will build a family of fun flags, including all entertainment they want. But I wouldn't hire a, a, I wouldn't hire a specialist. Can I say like that? Like a person? Sure. Yeah. So yeah. I, I would do it myself. <laughs> but in general, oh. it's a good idea. Yeah. We, first of all, we have to carry out a survey, and after that, we have to. Okay. Oh, okay. You would carry out a survey of guests of what kinds of entertainment they would be interested in. Is that right? Do I have that right? Yeah. And totally. and then okay. And then instead of contracting out the job or hiring out the position, you would do it in house. You would do it with the existing staff to save money. Okay. I got gotcha. you. One thing I, I would add that, um, you know, in the beginning, my idea, in the beginning we talked about this hotel is in a beautiful place. We've got, uh, we've got beaches, we have access to the ocean, we have access to mountains, um, we have natural surroundings, very scenic, which means there must be a lot of good nature. Uh, it occurs to me that we could use what we already have. For example, um, get things like uh, maybe, if, depending on money, you know, from doing uh, parasailing on the beach to renting jet skis to giving uh, dive tours to the reef, maybe even start a dive school, uh, to paddle boats to just paddle around. Um, lots of th different activities that involve the beach. Uh, volleyball tournaments on the beach. 
why not use what we already have? Uh, if we have natural surroundings, have a nature path somewhere around the area. Maybe organized mountain hiking expeditions. Um, what about the... Uh, yes, go ahead. What about uh, push them out of the boat and leave them? <laughs> <laughs> Is this part of your murder mystery? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, actually, something like this, I, I, you know, I'm. If we had the money, it depends on money. You know, what we're not talking about is budget, which inevitably would be the decider. Do you hire someone to organize and do all this, or do you try to do it with existing staff? There's a lot of factors there, right? Um, so, hard to say which way you would go. Uh, Robson, are you, are, do you have a microphone? Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Have you been following the class and the conversation? Yeah. Okay, you know what we're doing? All right, we, we all work at a hotel, and we have uh, guests that are bored. Uh, there, there's not enough activities. Do you have any ideas? How, how we can entertain guests at our hotel? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robson will not be the entertainment director. Okay, Robson. <laughs> what about giving them uh, swimming lessons? Swimming lessons, that, that's kind of where I was going. Um, activities that uh, we can use our own natural surroundings, which we've already paid for. We own the hotel, we own the surrounding, we own the land. Why not use what we have? Uh, okay, which of course could be incorporated into Igor's idea. Obviously, we could hire someone to organize all that. Which you may have to, you know. There may be extra possibility of generating income if you're renting, if you're taking people parasailing, or that they have to pay for a mountain guide, or they pay for a jet ski. So it may be that the director of entertainment would pay for itself, which would be ideal, right? Um, would you agree with that or disagree? Anybody? What, what do you think of what I have to say? Am I... So could you repeat your question? Well, I'm just saying, you know, my idea is use the natural surroundings and even try to generate more income. For example, you make guests pay for a guide to hike the mountains or to rent a jet ski or for diving classes or swimming lessons, as my aunt says. So try to generate more income, give them something to do, but they pay more, which in turn may ultimately pay for your idea, Igor, hiring an extra person. Yes. Of yes course. Make, make sense to everyone? All right. Yes. Okay. But I think extra person is not too expensive. A professional will be a plus to a company. Uh, he, mm -hmm. will, he will, how to say, will pay for himself. His idea will pay would pay will pay for himself. Do you understand right. that? Right. Uh, yes. yes, I do, and I and I just want to see quicker returns. That's all. <laughs> if I'm the CEO, I want to see that cash flow, baby. You know, yes, I want to see that will, money coming in right away. <laughs> you will give him, for example, one thousand dollars. He will bring ten thousand. Oh wow! Well, now you're talking my language. Oh, I like it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. He would not do this. He would be fired. Out. Yeah. Right on. I'm okay. I'm with you. All right. We're, I think we're all on the same page. Let's go on to our next problem. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna do a screen share, and I, I want to. I want you to read this one. Okay. Okay. Complaint about food. Mm -hmm. The guests have complained that. Food tastes terrible. 
They also compare that, that food is the same every night. Some vegetarians were really angry because every dinner has meat. Mm. <laughs> okay, Igor, you're up first. We've got food complaints, um, not a varied menu, and no, no vegetarian. Uh, nothing for vegetarians and and what? just basically the food is terrible. What do you think? My idea is to uh, first to fire the chief uh, of uh, how does the chief of what? The chef. Uh, chef, yes. Chef yeah. of uh, of kitchen. Or who? Yeah. I mean, who is in the kitchen? Chef. <laughs> yeah. And to do um. Uh, competition uh, where we uh, we would uh, hire uh, another chief, and uh, we would find this chief from uh, country that um, the best chief, from example, from France or from Italy. I don't know where is the food the most beautiful, the most uh, tasteful. So we would find uh, a new chief with reputation, reputation, good reputation, and he would do this. At one hundred percent, while men, all men, all. Uh, um. Okay. Well, all right. One thing before we continue. There's two different words: chef, eh, and mm -hmm. e sound chief. Okay. Chief. Uh, all right. Chef is the head of the restaurant, the guy with the big poofy hat. You know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or toke, as we call it. Actually, uh, you guys, I was a chef for many, many years. So I'm very well acquainted with this problem. Actually, I'm not. Because as Igor says, if I was the chef and I had these complaints, I would expect to be fired immediately. There's no excuse for that. <laughs> of course. You, you are in charge. You, and you should... Uh, uh, guests should be satisfied about the food. If they are yeah. don't satisfied, you are... And it's just common. Common knowledge that you need to have variety on your menu and menu plans. I mean, it, and if you don't have skills to make many different dishes, you shouldn't be there. So your first idea, absolutely. If I'm the CEO, yeah, the chef is gone. Absolutely. Uh, no question. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Jan Jan. Hi, Jan Jan. Are you calling from um, Antarctica? Jan Jan, are you there? Well, hang out, sticky, 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 hang out. Uh, Jan, are are you there? Jan, hello. Okay, this is Jan. He's calling. He's calling in to Verbling from Antarctica. He's on the bottom of the world. Okay. Anyway, all right, Jan, try to work out your your microphone and uh, hopefully you can talk to us later. M Mon, what do you think? The food is terrible. <laughs> Mon? Yes? Are you, what do you think? What can we do? We're, we're definitely going to fire the chef. What else could we do? Can we make any suggestions for the new chef? Uh... Do you have any ideas? Maybe try to try to, to organize a menu, a good menu. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, maybe make one of the first priorities of the new chef to reorganize the menu. And trust me, yes. pe speaking from personal experience, that is exactly what a new chef will want to do without you telling him. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a good suggestion. Yeah, chef right. with reputation in yeah. um, in this uh, domain and food domain. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's a chef with a good reputation. Although, you know, Igor, you seem to have an unlimited budget. Chefs want money. Money. Good chefs cost a lot of money. They ain't cheap. Well, no problem. I think if uh, you, you said that uh, our hotel is uh, in a very good place, so I think uh, we have budget. For this, uh, <laughs> you do. Activities. Okay, yes, yes. but but I'm the owner and I'm really tight with my money. <laughs> so you, we would fire you. 
<laughs> okay. That's a suggestion for if the end of the... Greedy. If you're greedy. Ah, okay. Oh, well, I'm done for then. All right. I'm definitely greedy. Mahmood, do you have any suggestions about our food problems? No, the, 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 the basic thing is to get uh, a good chef stuff. Okay, chef and staff. Uh, okay, uh, it, all right. Yeah, and uh, to tell you the truth, most chefs have... I, if I was to get a chef job in a restaurant in the United States, I know people. I get. I would bring my own staff. I would look at. I would assess different people on my staff. That's what a chef does. So yeah. Wow, the hangout is really sticky today. Not smooth. Uh, okay, uh, Alice. Hello, Alice. Welcome to the class, Alice. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay. Have you been following the class? Have you been viewing? Uh, yes. 15 minutes. Okay. So uh, we all, we're the management of a hotel. We're talking about a problem with the food. Uh, we've had com lots of complaints about the food. Do you have any ideas? How we yes. can fix? Okay, yes. go ahead. I think, I think the manager should go to uh, eat to the restaurants who are close to the hotel, and um, he would find out which which chef is is cooking well, and then he would try to convince him to come and cook for his hotel. <laughs> very good very good and actually that's quite common <laughs> good yeah that's a good one uh, I know it's like a, a bit like uh, stealing a chef but <laughs> yeah okay well a little that's called head hunting it's a competition you know it's a competition it is it's competition and of course knowing what your competition and doing is in business is extremely important yeah that what you're talking about is the owner or somebody maybe even owner executive officers together whoever should go head hunting yes. Meaning, okay when you're trying to when you're checking out someone's skills and then perhaps trying to hire them away from somebody else that's called the head hunting Thank you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. That's always a great idea. Plus, you yeah, get to like spy. Yeah, kind of. Plus, you get to see what your competition is doing, um, and what it seems to be successful for them. If you go to your competition, their parking lot is full, their restaurant is full of diners, then you're going to check out the food and the, you know, the decor. Not only the food, but the atmosphere of the place, the style, everything. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, actually, that's a very good idea. Uh, Andrew, do you have anything to add about food and uh, all that? No, I absolutely agree with everyone's ideas. And just for fun, you know, if they offered some free alcohol, uh, if, if they offered some free <laughs> alcohol, they weren't complaining at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free beer here, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that always works, or it never works. Uh, any last things to add, Sar, before we go to our last problem? Uh, I think maybe we will ask the guest that what do you want to eat? Or maybe if some guests have the cooking skill, maybe we can prepare the ingredients and just ask them to cook by themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they cook by themselves? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Well, actually, not, a, not completely unrealistic. I mean, if you had a kitchenette or, uh, you know, hotel rooms that had a kitchen in them, Mm -hmm. You could you could do that, possibly. Uh, not completely. I've actually experienced that before. Uh, hmm. 
Interesting. I think first and foremost, fire the chef, look for another chef, personally. <laughs> yeah. Another possible idea, you know, um, and something that resorts commonly do is they open a, most big resorts uh, have more than one restaurant so that people have a choice, so that they have two different styles, maybe formal dining and informal, like perhaps beach barbecue restaurant with a bar. Right, with lots of Andrew's drink specials, <laughs> and that also can help with the entertainment of guests. That's another idea, having another place to dine, as long as it doesn't involve building another building. You know. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's go on to our our last one. Uh, okay. All right, well, this is kind of silly, but here we go. Uh, let me screen share this with us. With you. All right, our last problem. Well, duh. <laughs> of course, we're in a hotel. This is, this is every hotel's problem. Uh, Igor, go ahead and read this for us. There are a few guests. A very, a very few people know about the hotel. And the guests who do come say it is too expensive. Hmm, okay. Uh, all right, I'll finish with you, Igor. Mon, what can we do about this problem? Not enough Sorry, guests. What? Uh, guests complain that it's too expensive, and we just do not have enough guests. We have empty rooms in our hotel. Let's try to give them... Uh, Low prices. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but they, they are already complaining about things like nothing to do and no food. So, yeah, okay, we could lower prices and yeah, maybe. All right, well, uh, lowering prices is an option. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it. Mahmood? What do you think? I think uh, you should uh, first focus on the problem he faces. Okay, try to solve it. Then, when, every, when someone told them that the price was too much, told them that we offer many many things not exist in uh, other the rest in other hotels and restaurants. So here we can get more entertainment. Uh, we can get we can. Uh, uh, live in uh, you can live in uh, a good way. Okay, all right. Uh, one thing, Mahmoud, English speaking. I've noticed talking to you today. When you have plurals, like r you say, restaurants is it's restaurants. Okay, restaurants, uh, resorts. Just add the s. When you're making plurals, you're adding an extra syllable all the time. There are certain times when we do that, okay? We do that when we when the word ends with an S or SH or CH sound, one of the, or Z, Z, sh, ch, ch, watches, uh, um, washes, buzzes, buses. Then we add that extra is, but most of the time we just add the sound, the S or Z sound, okay? All right, so be, try to be careful of that in your English speaking. All right? Can you repeat it again? Because do not. Sure. What should I do? Many times when you're pronouncing plurals, every plural word you pronounce, you say you don't just say cats. Add the s to the t. You say cats. You you add an extra vowel sound. You shouldn't be doing should that. Should I say cats? No, 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 no. Cats. You should say cats and dogs, okay. restaurants, resorts, okay, uh, no extra sound, not zizzes, especially when okay. a word ends with a Z or S, uh, CH or SH, those sounds, then that is the only time when you add the extra sound, um, like washes, then you actually hear the is at the end, but most words you do not. Okay. Do you understand? 
uh, I hope. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, okay, so um, what you're saying is all your, our other value-added ideas, we need to deal with that first. Okay, because we have other ideas about improving the food, the entertainment, the security. Do that first and worry about money and, and selling rooms later. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I, I mean, that makes sense to me. First things first. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, Alice, what do you think? Uh, are, we are talking about a hotel which has a problem, yeah? Yeah, and we the, our problem is we don't have enough guests, too many empty rooms, and uh, the, the guests think it's too expensive. Prices uh, are too okay. high. Okay, so uh, we know what... Uh, the problems are so we should try to to make some programs for guests. Uh, maybe we could uh, make price prices or price lo lower um, the way that we would contact some agencies, uh, travel agencies, uh, which would provide us. I mean the hotel. Um, with customers, I mean, um, we would, um, okay. uh, we would give, uh, the hotel would give the accommodation uh, to many people, more people, if, if we cooperated, if the hotel cooperated with travel agencies. Okay, cooperate with travel agencies. All right, that, that's a good idea. Uh, Andrew, any ideas? So, uh, more advertising is what Alice was talking about. Andrew, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, yeah. First of all, we have to redefine the prices, yeah, and uh, make some reductions. Maybe right. we have to... We have to make... The quality, the quality of hotel much better. Service okay. Quality. Well, yeah. As I, I, we have you have two options when people say it's too expensive. You raise the value, or at least perceived value of the product or service, or you lower your prices. You have to do one or the other. The question is, which do you want to do? Raise the value by adding, you know, better food, better security, better. Um, more entertaining facilities, or you just drop the prices. Uh, what do you think, sir? That what? question refers to me. Oh, uh, did you did you have something else to say, Andrew? I'm sorry, I thought you were done. No, no, no. Did you did, did you ask this question with me? No. No, no, no. I made a statement. I thought you were finished speaking. I, I asked Sar. If, okay. Which, which... Uh, yeah. I, I have some idea about uh, there are few guests in hotel. Yeah. Uh, maybe we put some advertise on TV show on some more attack uh, being together with this car of goods when the cost when guests come to the hotel, maybe give them some discount. Yeah, yeah, well, and, and I think uh, guests will be happy and tell their friends, their family to come to the hotel more, more, and more. Okay, give them discounts. Yeah, well, discounts for what? How? Uh, like the TV show, right? When we put the ad advertise on TV show when the guests come to the hotel and then the guests say that I come to the hotel because I hear the advertise uh, on the phone. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, something cool like point. that. Okay, I got you. All right. What's that, Igor? A coupon is... Coupon, uh, coupon. yeah. Like yes. coupon marketing. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, yes. all right. Name. Got it. Coupon marketing. That's right. That is. Uh, Igor, finish us up. We only got one minute. 
Um, okay, you... I try uh, very fast. First of all, <laughs> we should look our position on the market to see we are hotel premium hotel or pre uh, hotel for uh, low income customers or the middle. We should find our position on the market. After that, uh, we uh, found our position. We should advertise uh, target target uh, uh, customers that in our that. Uh, our customers. So, if uh, we are expensive hotel, we should advertise only expensive customers, and of course, we should uh, revise uh, the price to see maybe something is, is wrong and is not something wrong. We should advertise more advertisement for our customers, for premium customers, only premium, and customers would not complain for our prices. They there would you be go. One hundred percent satisfied. Absolutely, targeted marketing. I'm all. I'm a strong believer in that, Igor. I'm. I'm a hundred percent behind what you said. All right. That being said, I have to go. I am doing a.